All right, in health news, do you want arms like Michelle Obama? Although I think she's a terrible example. Well, don't spend all your time working the wrong areas. For tips on tone, triceps, and buff biceps, I'm joined now by Brendan Fox, head trainer at MedCan Clinic, which you can find right across Canada. Good of you to join me this morning. Well, Why does everyone me. think she's got such good arms? She's got no definition. But anyway, um, I digress. Yeah, so uh, what, one of the common things I hear from clients is, you know, they want they want better arm definition. They want right. arms like Michelle Obama. <laughs> and commonly, people are making a lot of mistakes in their training. Right. So a lot of the conventional exercises aren't optimal for developing arm definition. So one of the things I, I find is people tend to invest a lot of time training mm -hmm. the wrong aspects of the arms. Right. It's the, my most frustrating. I would love, I mean, it's the one area of my body that I've never been able to master. I find it to be the hardest area for a woman anyway. Awesome. Well, we got some killer tips for you today. <laughs> <laughs> it comes down to the training and nutrition. So first of all, with training, uh, the main aspect of the arm is probably the tricep takes up more real estate on the arm than the bicep. So a lot of times people are targeting the biceps. Right. So, and if you look here, actually, this is training the muscles on the top of the forearm, which are a lot more visible in your outfits and give you more of that I work out, I'm fit kind of look. Mm -hmm. And that's probably the most underrated aspect of the arms is just the top of the forearms there. Yeah. This is an overhead arm extension. This and these works are great the ladies if you don't want that extra wave after you've waved. Exactly. If <laughs> you, you don't, don't want, want the double bye-bye. <laughs> now what I'm doing here, that's an overhead arm extension. That works the long head of the tricep, which is the, the more optimal aspect of the tricep. Here is an alternating hammer curl. Mm -hmm. Hammer curls work the bigger of the two bicep muscles. So if you want bigger biceps, you use a hammer grip. If you want more of a peak on your biceps, you'd use a palms up grip. Okay, so here I'm going to ask you, why aren't you doing something with a negative here, which means slowing down so you get a, a better uh, rep, so to speak? Well, it depends on the training priority. In this, in this particular sequence, mm -hmm. oh, sorry, here we're going on to a lateral deltoid. This is working the shoulders, the upper outer aspect right. of the shoulders, which also gives some good shape and definition to the arms here. And this whole sequence is done with tubing, yes. which viewers at home can start with. You know, you can do the entire sequence at home, mm -hmm. if, especially if you're concerned about hitting yourself in the head with weights. Okay, so the person so, that's not working out professionally then, getting back to the question, is why, why rush if, unless you're just trying to get a higher elevation elevated heart rate, there are yeah. different ways of doing a rep which is you can go, th go, go through them quickly, but yes. some people are just going to blow through them and not reap the yes. rewards. So the key is you don't want to use momentum as opposed to muscle. Yes. But what you can do is you can do what I call almost like a triple tempo drop, okay. where you'd start off doing some slower movements for our muscle group, and then you'd start to speed them up as you get more fatigued so that yes. you're able to continue. Right. So it's almost like you're, you're just really working through the pain and getting a much more intense set. Rather than just going slow and stopping, you'd speed it up just to incorporate just a little bit more momentum so you're able to continue. You. Okay. Now so let's talk about diet then, yeah. because diet is so. I mean, I say it's 75% of the battle when you're trying to. I say 76%. Okay. But that's okay. <laughs> we can agree to disagree on that. That's okay. But it is so important if you want to define your muscles. Absolutely. Burn the fat. And for the arms in particular, what happens is women tend to store more fat on the arms because mm -hmm. of estrogen, mm -hmm. which is the female hormone which tends to promote uh, fat storage on the arms. Yeah. One of the important things for that is a, there's something called indole 3 carbonyl which reduces estrogen levels. Now that is present in foods such as broccoli, yes. Brussels, sp Brussels sprouts, yes. cabbage, cauliflower, and kale. Okay. Those foods are all optimal for lowering estrogen. In addition, we also want to avoid soy and tofu. Yes. Because they're not soy good for you. No, I've If you're heard. trying to, they can t they'll boost your estrogen levels. Especially also, if men, if you, if you don't want breasts, men, stay away from oh, the soy. Oh, yes, exactly. <laughs> that exactly. soy milk will give you breasts and you don't want them. Another thing you want to do, avoid doing is foods that are stored in plastics, clouded plastics, yes. like salad dressings in plastic bottles because the oils absorb estrogens from the plastics. And are we better juicing those vegetables that you said, the kales and the broccoli, or just eating them in a steamed fashion? Uh, you know what? I would say go either or. Okay. I prefer steamed because then you get all the extra fiber, which okay. is optimal if you're trying to lose fat. Because another thing is excess fat correlates with increased estrogen production as well. Mm -hmm. So that's why a lot of times men who have excess fat develop boobs because they've got a hormonal profile that's more similar to a woman. Mm -hmm. So that's another key factor. Another thing is uh, caffeine and sleep patterns because if your adrenal glands burn out, yes. your body will use estrogen as a substitute hormone. Hmm. So okay. 
I know. I wish I could talk to you more about this. You know I do. But <laughs> I've run out of time, so we're going to get you back in here next Thursday. Awesome. Thank Sounds you. good. <laughs> okay. Of course, Brendan Fox joining us here on the Roundtable every Thursday. For more information, you can visit him at the website, medcan.com. You can, of course, post uh, questions and, and get your information there. We're going to take a break here on the Roundtable. Gina Phillips next with social media.